Are you ready? Well, let's do it. Good stuff. Lydia Day Dahl, Fight Connect TV, we are here backstage at the TF Theatre in Castlebar, delighted to be joined by the one, the only, Craig O'Brien, a victorious Craig O'Brien and Craig Jr. How are we feeling after that? Uh, really good, Lydia. First of all, it's good to say I haven't seen you in a long time, so it's good to say. Uh, yeah, really good. It's been 15, 16 months out of the ring, so to get back in there tonight, I got six rounds in. Truth be told, I've only had about a four week camp. I came in at like 72.6 kg. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I was just playing it safe getting the rounds in. I didn't see the guy in the scales, but then when I see him tonight in the ring, he looked a big unit and he looked blocky. And after round or two, I knew I wasn't going to get him out of there. So I was happy to get the rounds in. He was tough, he was durable, he kept coming. He liked the fight, he wanted the fight. So yeah, it was good. It was good to go back in and get the rim rust off. So that's, that's what it was about. Absolutely. And a big night for the gym as well, right? Yeah, well, everyone's on it. Well, everyone, everyone, was, <laughs> everyone was on a bar me. And that's what I'm saying. I only found out like two and a half weeks ago. I was planning on going to the UK in two weeks on a, on a show there, but I only found out then two weeks ago that I'd be on this. So I was like, yeah, brilliant. So now we've been training and, and sparring hard and that, but not a full proper camp, if that makes sense. So yeah, hopefully now we push on, go back in the gym. There's talk of probably a fight on the undercard of the Katie show in the Tree Arena. That'd be amazing. So that's something that we look forward to, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, let's talk about that briefly for a second. I mean, what a, what, what a year for, for not only Katie, but Irish boxing. I mean, those two shows are absolutely incredible, right? Yeah, amazing. And, and, and even, even the small hall shows, like there's, there's been five or six so far. Yeah. We're only in the middle of uh, March. I spoke, I was down with the office with Mel last week. I was saying to him, and there's more shows now in Kerry next month. Jay Bourne's doing brilliant up in the warehouse in the Red Cow. So, and then the big one obviously will be Katie. So yeah, it's amazing, man. Long may it last, because boxing's been starved. Uh, Ireland's been starved of boxing for many years. So yeah, it's great to see finally. You, I mean, you hit the nail on the head, and you, like we've been doing interviews for years together, right? I mean, I've been back in like nearly ten years, and the thing is. All I keep trying to drum home is that give Ireland an opportunity because the talent is here and the crowd is here. We just need the money to be put behind Irish boxing, right? Yeah, absolutely. And I think now that I'm saying that, you, you see, like Katie, obviously, is, is, she's a massive drawer on herself. But the undercard, you have Cully, you've, you've uh, Donovan Paddy coming through now and stuff. So obviously, the show in Belfast was a big one, a couple of boys on it. So I think it's going to keep building and building. And hopefully, it does, you know what I mean? Because now listen, I am 34 now, I'm probably on the way out pretty soon, but for the next generation it's great for them, isn't it, you know what I mean, because they need it, and like, even though I box, I'm a massive boxing fan, so it's great to see you, it's definitely great to see you. Well, we talk about the next generation, obviously we've got Craig Jr. here, what was that like for you, seeing your dad voice? Good, yeah. Yeah, do you think you did alright? Yeah. Yeah? Are you going to be a boxer, that's the question. We don't know. No, <laughs> no, Lydia, me and him have dozens of fights a week. He's not going to be a boxer. I had him in every boxing club. He doesn't like it. He's a lover. Well, what do you want to do, Craig Jr.? Football. Football. Okay, so who's the, who's the influence in football? Michelle. Yeah, that's the day. See, I'm the Thanks for uh, Bally Fermi and He loves it. He's up there yeah. twice a week, plays in the weekend, so he's a massive football fan and Liverpool fan, so yeah. Oh, Liverpool fan. Once you didn't say Arsenal, we'd be doing all right. Yeah. That's Spurs fan, right? But, like, I mean, what is it like for you as not only a fighter, but a dad to be in here? You're, you're a kid here, you know, watching yeah. you fight like that. It must be really, like, a, you know, a momentous occasion for you. Yeah, it's good, man. We, we had that show 15 months ago. I'm out of the ring 15 months now. In the, it was the main event in the stadium, and they all came, and they had the flag and the belts, and it was brilliant. So we were down here again. I was like, we'll bring the belts. First place we went was for the belts before we left the house. So <laughs> he loves that, and it's great for them to see, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's, it, hopefully it's, it's things they remember in years to come, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we roll the dice. Hopefully we get that fight on the Katie card, roll the dice, and see what happens. So we push on, Katie Taylor undercard, yeah. and then how do we finish out the career after that? Do, is there a plan in place, or are we just going to see how we how we go? <sighs> Boxing's a funny game, isn't it? Like, it, well, you, you, you get a 50-50 fight in the Katie card, you win, and what happens then? You could be... You could be still boxing 12 or 18 months if you keep winning. You just never know, you know what I mean? So, yeah, we just hopefully we get that fight, get back into camp, have a great training camp and push on then. Yeah, you're still fresh. Yeah, well, I don't smoke or drink or keep telling myself, you know what I mean? So, once the hairline's there, it's good, we'll be all right. But listen, can I say a big shout out to my sponsors? Uh, Noro Clinic, Will, uh, Will Donahue, uh, Irish Roofers, Art Blinds, and Kelly Memorials for supporting and helping me out. Yeah, and without, we would be nowhere, right? Absolutely, you know that. It's, uh, it's a tough game, this game, so yeah, absolutely. Fair play to you. Thank you so much, Craig O'Brien and Craig Jr. O'Brien for Fight Connect TV.